Hey guys, how are you all? Today we're back with another Manga Mondays vlog and I have three new manga series to talk about today. I've been delving into a lot of new manga that's just been on a list of to reads for me for a few weeks now. So I have three really exciting series. Two of the series fall into more of like romance themes and the last series is another fantasy epic adventure because a lot of you guys know I've been reading a lot of fantasy manga recently. The first series I want to talk about is called Shoujo Shutome no Yutsu. It is a one-shot comedy romance slice of life and it's a super 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 short manga short story. I ended up picking up this one shot because I wasn't sure what I wanted to choose as one of my selections for uh, this vlog. It's like a really short and sweet kind of like story of how two people meet and they just kind of end up falling in love, of course. <laughs> um, so it's basically about a guy who's like a total slob and he's like really carefree and he's just really out there um, and he ends up meeting a girl who's like really uptight and a lot of people don't really like her because she's really uptight but of course the guy finds something that's charming in her and it's really great for shoujo fans because it does exactly what it sets out to do it is just cutesy romantic sweet and it just kind of happens it's like one of those really like spontaneous teenage moments when you realize oh i like this person so why not just go for it it's very straightforward um and that's kind of why i liked this one shot and that's kind of why I want to share it with you guys. So now that we're done with that, I want to move on to something that is a bit more long-winded in terms of a shoujo series. It's called Koi to Uso and it takes place in a kind of more futuristic uh, era of Japan. Not futuristic in the sense that there are supernatural elements, but futuristic in the sense that it's developed very differently um, in a social aspect. At this time in Japan, the birth rates have been declining and because of this, the government has developed a policy where teenagers who turn 16 on their birthday they get a governmental notice that tells them a person that they have been suitably uh, matched up to marry. And you're supposedly uh, very compatible with this person because of this governmental like statistics program and this like screening system. Obviously there are a lot of problems that arise when you give 16 year olds arranged marriages. So this is not a spoiler um, because it happens like within the first chapter the main character ends up confessing to the girl he likes um, and then he has his birthday and then he gets paired up with another girl. A lot of people might kind of like read the synopsis and think oh it's gonna be like a love triangle with people like sorting out who they love and who they're supposed to marry and then they might like run away with the person they love. I'm actually surprised at how docile all the characters are because they just kind of go with the fact that they're not gonna marry each other even though they like each other um, and that they just kind of go with the fact that the government has selected this partner for them. It's kind of interesting to see how these teenagers kind of approach love because there's not really like a lot of sparks especially when you kind of meet the person you're supposed to marry. It's like super eccentric for a shoujo series and I think for some of you guys who are maybe tired of that classic shoujo up and down flow of the plot you might enjoy Koi to Uso. It is quite refreshing when it comes to romance and I really have no idea what's gonna happen because I ended up reading about like 10 to 12 chapters and I'm still very interested in where the series is going. I just haven't had enough time to like continue it but yeah definitely check out Koi to Uso. The last series that I want to talk about is a relatively new manga series. Some of you guys have been tweeting me asking me for like new new New, new manga series. It started subbing around June of last year. It's called Tsuyokuten Nu Saga. It is a action adventure, comedy, drama, fantasy, harem, romance, and shonen series. So falls in a lot of the really big categories that apply to a wide range of audiences. I really like this series because it's basically like a redo of an epic hero saga. So the story starts off with a magic swordsman named Kale who is leading an army against the demon. The story takes place in like a fantasy setting in kind of a more medieval kind of uh, era. He ends up defeating the demon in this like suicide plan with his troops. He's the only one left surviving. Millions have already been killed between this like human and demons kind of war. And in the process of killing the demon and infiltrating like the fortress, he finds this magical stone. And he grabs the stone and it magically transports him four years ago to before all the carnage and the, like the destruction happened. The really cool thing is that the series does not progress like a regular hero epic saga because he knows what's gonna happen, he knows exactly how it's gonna pan out in the next four years. So he becomes a very different kind of hero in that he uses heroism as a way to garner enough power to convince people that this demon war is gonna come. Because he knows what's gonna happen, he tries to change things. And so it brings into questions of like fate and destiny of can you actually change the future. And he decides to train early 
earlier. So he ends up meeting a lot of former comrades that he met in another time stream. He finds out new things about them. Some of them he ends up killing, some of them he befriends again. And it's just quite interesting to see a hero kind of like redo his adventure quest. You think that the story is quite refreshing, but because of the way that the backstory flashbacks are inserted and the way that the narrative is told from the hero's perspective, you really feel the weight of everything that Kale is going through, even as he's just like developing his plans in a very like peacetime setting. There are only about 14 chapters sub right now. The new chapter came out like two weeks ago. And I really hope that they continue this because at this point in time, I've read all the chapters available online that have been subbed in English and there's still so much prelude going on. You feel so much tension building up because you know that at the end of the series, there might be a giant war that will kill thousands and millions of people. And you know that Kale will want to prevent this. What you don't know is how he's going to do it exactly and what happened in between. So Kale knows what's happened, but you only know certain things that he brings up as he's trying to construct his new plan. I really like this series because it takes retrospect to a whole new level of interpretation and it's just really different because you never kind of get this kind of story and even when you do, you get the sense that the hero is definitely going to succeed. And what I like about how the story is set up is you really get the political complexities of the story and the kingdoms and just how much happened in the background and how little Kale knew about the world and the politics the very first time around. I really hope the fan subbers continue like subbing this. I highly urge you guys to check this out because it's just like a really cleverly set up story and I'm really interested to see how it's going. But anyways, these are my Mega Monday picks uh, for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found something new to read. Uh, spring anime vlogs are coming very soon. Spring anime new first impressions. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe for more from me. New videos come at the beginning of the week for Mega Mondays and at the end of the week for a video of my choice. If you guys like this video, don't forget to share with other people and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!